All right, so we're going to make Christmas, um, what are they, hoodies? Is that, yeah. is that, did I say we're making hoodies? No, not hoodies. They're going to be white cotton shirts. One will be polyester because I got this DD. I had uh, what we call a gang sheet. This is a gang sheet DTF um, custom from a, I have thousands of prints uh, because I, you know, sell uh, different items and some things are sublimation and some things are DTF. So I'm going to cut this up. It is Christmas. It's mirrored for me. So it should be showing the right angle for you. Okay. So I'm going to cut this. Okay, let me tilt this uh, camera so you can see me cut it. Turn it around. All right. So it says, um, if you can see it, let's see. Family Christmas 2023. So we're making, um, we're making right. shirts. I'm just going to, my husband in the background, he made, you want to say hello? Uh, how you doing? <laughs> All right, it's for YouTube. All right, so we're just gonna cut this out as such, as you can see. Okay. Right. And take this out. So this is a, what we call a guideline. When you get a gang sheet, you'll have this line. You don't keep that on there. You're gonna cut that out. Let me just go ahead and finish cutting this off. We you get the one of the shirts over there. The, one of the, the um, white shirts. Get an extra large. They're right there, over there. Okay. So I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna just do this. Focus on this one right now. Okay. So I'm gonna cut this side here. And what I love about DTF. Let me put myself back on the camera so you can see. I'm cutting. Okay, that's probably a better view. I am. I have one of these rotational cameras that I bought from Amazon, but the problem is sometimes it rotates a little too much to where it makes your head hurt. So I said, you know what? You just you can lay it right there. We're just gonna stabilize um, this camera, and I'll just manually go back to the analog method instead of the digital. But that is what we are doing. So I'm cutting this guideline out as such. Okay. All right. Then we're gonna. So I wrote, I thought I had did four of these. Um, we have a Christmas Eve party at my aunt's house, New Year's Eve, and we're all gonna wear pajamas. So this is gonna be the on a white uh, cotton shirt. One of them will be polyester long sleeve. We're gonna do long sleeve, and we have our pants. Um, Emmanuel, can you go get the pants to show them? How those pants look that I ordered from Amazon. But first, let's do the shirt. And my husband will go get the pants. You can see those. You know, and I'm going to stand my butt up. <laughs> okay. All right. So what I like to do. Okay. First of all, as you can see, you, you have to have a, uh, some type of base that is padded. Because you want to absorb the shot. Now, I actually, you know what? I'm going to do this on my auto press. I was going to do it on my easy press. I love my easy press. I'm addicted to it. And I have several heat presses. I have heat presses all over this house. We have multiple craft rooms. My husband has an art craft room. We have one in our uh, basement, not basement, in our garage. So we have, and I got stuff at work as well. But um, this is, as you can see, this is my actual craft shop. Now, I just finished doing, making my son some, um, Letterman jackets, my sons, two boys, and they're my son, my oldest son's girlfriend. So I'm gonna give them this. Right, dope black family. They're all the same size, all to wear a medium jacket. I'd rather the jacket get a little bit bigger. They like small, but I was like medium, honey. And you want a jacket to be comfortable. You know, and I'm gonna put this up here. I'm not finished. Y'all gonna see the end of the result of this in another video. <laughs> okay. All right, so these are the pants. So each of them. You know, we, of course, about their size. Of course, and my my husband and I are much bigger than my sons. We're going to get back to their size. That's, right. that's another video. This is mine. And guess what? I'm not going to okay. say what size it is. Well, we're not going to say, but we'll that's do a video a, about it because New Year's coming up. It's not real small. Don't look. <laughs> that was in the in the, in the uh, 90s when I was <laughs> in the small. I had been no small since the, the 90s. It's but a baby small. This is not mine. This can't be mine. It's too small. 
This is a medium, so this must be one of the boys. So that's how they look, and so you'll see it together. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, so DTF is way easier to do this sublimation. I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna do it tonight. It's kind of late this time. I think it's almost midnight, and I'm just kind of getting tired. So I'm just gonna do one of my signs so you can see. I don't have to show you everything. But let's see. So let's see. Is this cotton or polyester? This is 65% polyester. So I'm gonna hold this one for when we do the sublimation. Okay, which is a different process. If you know anything about crafting, you know you have to turn that heat up right now. Oh, I wanted to show you my auto press, but it's gonna make noise, so I'm not gonna do it. We'll do auto press a different time. That auto press, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover with that because it, it makes noise. So this easy press is my favorite. I could it's portable and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I, I use this more than anything. 305 degrees. Oh, okay. He's showing you other ones. And so this is another one. So this is how they come from Amazon. And I want to say they're $14 or $15.99. It's called uh pants, men's pajamas. And then I got the women's version, but these are the men's because I have I have males. They're 18 and 20. Then we have a 19-year-old as well. So he doesn't wear red from what I hear. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but don't even, it's, it's on the recording. He doesn't, he doesn't like the color red, so he's not going to get red. <laughs> but anyway, so we have our DTF, like so, right? I'm going to let my husband do it because he's right here. So let's go ahead. I'm on break. <laughs> okay, he's on break. He's always on break. Okay. I'm breaking up. All right, so we're going to do, I got X2 XL. I don't want to use that one. Let's do, okay, we'll do, I had a small one, a medium, so I like bigger pajamas, more comfortable. Okay, so this one should be cotton, yeah. I think this is cotton, but this is a blend, but where's my cotton? I think the smalls are the, I'm trying to not go buy anything else. This is pretty big for a small, so we're going to do this. I think Emmanuel, Emmanuel had uh, tried on a small and it fit him perfectly. I prefer him to have a medium. But he know. He, it's a bit, it's a nice time outfit. Okay, now let's get this lint roller. Because when you're dealing with white, especially when we're talking about sublimation, you better roll that lint off. Because if you don't, you will have these little blue spots. I don't know where they come from. I don't know if it's lint. And it just turns blue on the, sh the shirt, but it will do it. Okay. Um, this can be sublimated or DTF. DTF is mainly for cotton. You can sublimate on cotton if you have like certain sprays, but it just doesn't, doesn't come out that clear. I prefer DTF. It's so much easier and not as messy, in my opinion. All right. So I'm just going to eyeball this one. <clears throat> Normally, I will take my measure and uh, measure. Huh? Okay, my husband want to measure. Okay, let me get the measure ruler that we use. Okay, I'm gonna measure this. Okay, so I'm gonna take you just mainly just want to make sure that it's the same size on both sides it's just even mm -hmm. and that's kind of we want to pull this up a little bit because it, you want it kind of like two inches two to three inches up you don't want it too hard high up the neck but people can't see it but yeah that's, that's pretty much perfect yeah that's perfect so you want to be able to, when they take the pictures you want people to see it okay you can lift it up now with dtf I don't, my husband likes to tape it down. I don't really tape it down with DTF, and there's a reason why. Um, you can see it easier and it doesn't move. When you do sublimation, you gotta flip it upside down. And if you if it shifts, you are messed, messed up. Um, I now if you're new, I'm gonna tell you to tape it down. I don't have to do it because I've been doing this for a long time. Well, so much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do 15 seconds on each side. So I already have this set in 30 seconds. We're going to do right side, left side. This is why I like the easy press. Now, 
you can do this all in one swoop on my auto press or in a regular press you want to be at 305 i prefer to see what i'm doing and that's why i like this and it's portable that means i could go anywhere of course most um heat presses are portable but they just one problem with those clamps in my opinion is that um the screws come out easy so i have a one at work a couple you know where two at work that the screws came out one of them i bought personally and one of them um let me get a little bit down here to make sure a little bit more and it's really about pressure and temperature that's with anything the dtf the sublimation the vinyl you got to put the right pressure and see i can control what pressure i have too sometimes with the auto press that pressure is too light you have to give it extra I'll put this up here excuse me okay so i'm gonna let that and normally i do put my t-shirt thing in there i did have as you can see um this teflon sheet under it i don't i like teflon a lot of people like to use butcher paper i hate butcher paper i have it but i don't really use it i use the same teflon sheet that works for me most times okay so this is how it looks the dtf is still on here it has to get to room temperature you if i can't touch it it's not you know gonna be to the level so we're gonna go ahead and just lay this over to the side where you can't see it and then we'll come back okay now my husband's gonna do the next one but he's gonna use this so you can see you know some people might be a little bit more meticulous than i am i like this and so he's gonna do Wait, he's going to cut it first. Okay. He's cutting, cutting the rest of this out. So you're going to watch him cut while that uh, dries up. And I really want to turn on my auto press, but like I said, I'm recording right next to it. So that ain't going to, the sound ain't going to be working. It's like it need to work. Take the time. Now, these are actually, well, pre-gifts. This is Christmas gifts, but like, I don't, in my house, you know, I like to go to other people's houses decorated, but because I'm so busy, I don't really decorate my house. I like to make stuff for other people. That's where I get joy from, but, uh, and go to other people's house. <laughs> but, uh, I do, okay, wait, 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 wait. this way. <laughs> excuse me i'm sorry sometimes when you're looking at dtf the way you try to fit it on the sheet you got to make sure it's family christmas 2023 so right under this 2023 that's where you start cutting yes. oh excuse me y'all yeah because we don't want to the good thing about it is with dtf and with sublimation if you cut in the wrong place you usually can go back in and just you know piece it together like a puzzle um a lot of people like to do i'll move this mannequin and talk to you a lot of people like to do um the the 3d uh shirts and i'm i haven't done one yet i do not understand the concept um you, if you had a big sublimation printer you could do a 3d shirt which is that's basically the sublimation is all over the shirt so the print is all over the shirt basically you could take a white polyester shirt and you can print out a different color let's say blue and black or whatever the case is maybe blue black and white well i could change the whole color of this shirt if i do an all over print but that does require either a a large machine sublimation machine or b you would need um to what do you call it break up the block so you create the picture and you have to split the picture um to print it out like in different sheets kind of like you used to do with a dot matrix printer if you were old enough you know in your 40s you know what i'm talking about dot matrix printer you used to make banners you have to piece it up same concept okay you want me to cut this yeah cut that guide so he's cutting the guide out and while he's doing that i'm gonna jump in front of him and i'm just gonna peel that dtf off here okay so this is my son my youngest son um pajama shirt pajama top so you're gonna see me just peel it off if it's cool enough and you had enough pressure it will come off easy now sometimes if it, it gives you some pull you're gonna have to go back in there and put some more heat like and that happens if either a it's not cold enough hot enough or b is too hot it will it will pull and it's not you know you don't pull it out so there we go whoop there it is 
And again, let me back up so you can see it while he's doing that. That's, and I just made this hoodie. Y'all like it? You probably, I'm going to show you another video. But I just made this hoodie. I'm going to wear this. We're going to wear the pajamas, but I'm going to wear this over the pajamas. My husband says it's going to be cold on Christmas, on Christmas Eve. So I guess I wear it Christmas Eve. I don't know. All right. So, again, so these pants came from, um, what do you call it? Where did it come from? Uh, those These pants came from uh, Amazon again. Bought these on Amazon. And it, we had about four of them. So, me, my husband, and my two boys. And then, whoop, there is with the shirt. So, yeah. So, we, we got our pajamas. Got our pajamas. I may have my son model it. Let, let, me, let me see if he'll model it for us. Okay? Let me go get him. Okay, so he already put the guide for this one. Okay, so we just gonna continue the same pattern as before. Um, and then, like I said, I'm gonna have to come back on another video. I'll probably record it tomorrow morning. I just gotta get some sleep because I don't feel like. It's not hard, but I just don't feel like doing it <laughs> right now. So I'll just record that tomorrow, a different video where you can see me doing the sublimation of this versus the DTF. And I, I might just clip this video. I don't know. But it may be a separate video. It may. Who knows? Depending on how I'm feeling. We want to edit. There you go. So, oh, it may be coming. Okay, the shoulder video, come, don't do it like that, Manny. Come, come to the, so they can see you on the camera. Okay, so... You see, he has it. It looks great. I can take a picture of him. I'm going to take a picture of him so you can see that whole shebang. He don't like it, but he's my model. All right. Thank you. Have a great day.